Energizer E241S. Now I've already unboxed it, but I'll still show you how it arrived. The unusual is a nice metal tin. I've already put the battery and everything, but here's what came in the box. A charger, which can be for various different countries, depending on which adapter you put on. But as I have plenty of chargers, I don't even bother to unwrap it. Got another headphone. Of the cheapest variety. You can't expect too much when the phone only costs forty pound. And a USB to micro USB lead to be used with a charger or connected to your computer. So a nice little touch being metal in it. Right, let's have a look at the specs. 4G LTE, 2.4 inch screen, got two cameras, VGA front and rear, so that's unusual to have a selfie camera. S Spectrum CPU instead of the normal Snapdragon 205s, 4 gigabyte of ROM, 512 megabyte of RAM, which doesn't sound a lot, but for a CarOS phone is ample. The apps themselves only take kilobytes. 1900 milliamp hour battery, which is very good. And it's dual SIM, as in mini SIMs, and up to 128 gigabyte. It came preloaded with WhatsApp, Google Assistant, Google Maps, Facebook, YouTube, Google Assistant, and Twitter. Let's have a look at the phone. Screen is okay. Let's get it at the right angle. The buttons are nice and tactile. Nice and clicky. But at least you don't get the key banks like you do on this one, which makes it such a poor phone. Other than that, everything else about it is great. But it's a bit of a handful sometimes doing that and doing that. So I do like the standard candy bar phones. Right, on the Navi key, it has the newer interface where you go right to activate the camera, up to get to your quick settings, left to get the widget screen up, and down goes to settings. You have contacts on the right hand side and notices of any missed calls, text, and WhatsApps. Shall we have a look inside the van? Let's turn them off first. A little groove there to put your finger now. Just on the corner there. Get your finger now in there.
bit harder to get off than a Nokia's. But I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Right, look at the inside. You have your two slots. Your micro SD card and this particular phone has the ability to go up to 128 gigabyte. I presently have a 64 gigabyte one in there so I can put lots of music on there. Two SIM card trays. Let's put another SIM card in so we can see how the SIM manager works. So pop the old battery back in. Power up. Right. Let's have a look at the SIM manager, like I said. So, down, straight to the settings. Now, I'll try and keep the phone nice and close so you can see it. SIM manager. Now, I've nicknamed these Keith and Keith at work, which is uh, what I tend to use it for. So I obviously at the moment I've got everything set for SIM 1. So if you want to do outgoing calls when I'm at work, select, change, or always ask, because you might have an odd private call at work, might you? Same with messages. And data. Right. Let's have a look at the I need to go to right. I want to see if I can get four G on the second one. Mm -hmm. Mobile data. Sim two. It says two G only. See that. So SIM slot 2 only has 2G, whilst SIM 1, you have the choice, so you have a preferred 4G only, 3G, 2G, Auto between 2G and 3G and automatic. So, obviously, you put the SIM card where you have the most data in SIM slot 1. Let's just turn the back to the SIM manager, data, select. SIM number one. That's worth knowing. Because you don't find that in any of the instruction books anywhere. Right. Now, the YouTube is the later version where when you play the videos, automatically rotates look at this a minute let's just demonstrate it the adverts always play in landscape sorry in portrait but the actual main video 
auto rotates. To auto the volume when you're watching it, press 3 or 1. Google Assistant can also be activated by long pressing the center of the Navi key. Tell me a joke. Why did the astronauts break up? Because they needed space. There you have it. Worth it, worth it just for that. Let's have a quick run through what else is on the phone. So you have your WhatsApp, your messages, your call log, contacts. It came pre-installed with Twitter, Facebook, the music player, Google search, YouTube, a basic browser, I recommend going to that website because then you can find extra what they call PWA progressive web apps. Have a quick look. So even though you won't find Instagram, in the official store, open it up. Not all these actually work on a touch keypad phone. Find the ones that do, open them up, and then all you have to do is pin them to the home screen. They have their own version of a Twitter app called TweetFit. This is more just a viewer where you can like things but you can't communicate. It's okay and it's very fast. So if you want to quickly look for your recent time feed it's, 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 it's good the later versions of KaiOS have the file manager it's very good that one came pre-installed another news app I think this must be more to do with this company as a because it's not in the store. Now from when I first had a KaiOS phone, the store now has many apps. It's just, it's just a shame most of them are games, because you could go on and on for games. But utilities are getting there. Some are rubbish, some are good. When you um, download an app, this is how quick it is. Is installed. So it's worth having a look for them all and trying them out. And if you don't like one, uninstall it. It's as quick as installing them.
notification. Just downloaded something. Clear. And it always puts it at the bottom of the screen. This phone has had some bad reviews regarding the speakers during phone calls. Well, apparently there was a recent update which has solved this problem. I've had no problems whatsoever. The speaker's not the loudest and even during calls it's not the loudest. But it's certainly okay. When I first switched on, immediately there was an update which by all accounts was that update. Now the phone has a VGA camera. Let's take a couple of snaps so you can see the quality. They are poor. Make no bones about it, they are poor. But see what you think. Here's our model. Remember, to activate the camera, straight to the... Right, let's take the picture. Say cheese. And we'll do the same shot on this phone. With its two megapixel camera. At the same distance. I will compare the results. One of the reasons I purchased this phone was for the two cameras. But the app I want is not available yet. And if you look on the Kai store, one of the few phones which actually supports this app is the Nokia 8110, the banana phone, but it only has one camera. Google Duo where you can do voice calls and video calls over the internet. But it's not available on many of the handsets yet. I've been in touch with iOS and they said they are working on it with Google to put it on more handsets. So when it does, this one will be ready with a selfie camera. Any questions, drop me a line. Oh yes, and thanks for watching.